This model is to show a new way of extracting wave energy from oceans. The basic principle is the same as in horizontal axis wind turbines. It works by lift force, like the wind turbines. The difference is the power here comes from water, not from air. So, the captured energy must be enormously higher than the wind turbines. I'm sure this is the goal of this invention. This is because I believe also wind turbine manufacturers should interest with this invention. You see, this machine works left, right, left, right, like the winds windscreen wipers of the cars. The working gap of the blade is semicircular because there is water downside and we want to see our blade working in the air upside. So we need two consecutive waves for each tour of the main axis. I see some other people also know the way of best performance. Work with the water, stay outside the water. Their machine is on the surface of the water, like this machine. You see here my combined single blade. This blade is even for counterclockwise rotation and besides for clockwise rotation. You see the sea level touching down to the blade. This is the sea level. And this is the estimated wave height. The waves come this way to the machine. The waves come this way. Us. Again. The waves come this way to the machine. The waves come this way. The combined blade moves counterclockwise by lift force because of the first wave and because of its shape. The estimated wave height should never be higher than this combination level. Bus. One wave causes a semicircular rotation and a second wave causes another semicircular rotation which is opposite to the first one. In total we get two semicircular rotations by two consecutive waves. This is the characteristic motion of this machine. This motion should be adapted to a generator. You see the working plane of this blade is vertical to the sea surface. And you see the blade is always running out of the sea in the air. The time that one blade spans for its semi tool should always be equal to the time between two waves. I think we will need something like an automatic gearbox of the cars. Now it's time to answer the biggest question. How a single blade without a counterweight can easily move by lift force? This blade seems unbalanced at present. Here is another demonstration. Once this was a three-bladed propeller like wind turbines. The other two are trimmed and now the single blade looks like my combined single blade. If there is no counterbalance, it doesn't seem to work.
it needs a counterweight. Placing a heavy structure here. You see my eraser counterbalancing the blade. This is a well-known way to counterbalance a single blade. Now it works. into water and if your aim is using your machine over the water and in a semicircular plane then this kind of single blade is not for you. Perhaps your blade might get its powers perhaps your blade might get its power from the waves and it might run in the air but what about that counterweight it should run in the water and this is terrible plus you will need an unbelievable amount of a counterweight for a long blade in this concept separate these two the single blade and its counterweight from each other in my wave energy device the single blade is even running semicircular in the air however the counterweight is not running in the water it is also running in the air but somewhere far away from the blade the link is a closed hydraulic system as I'm talking about. Notice that even in my offer the blade is using the upper semicircle and the counterweight somewhere else is using the downward semicircle. Gravity force of the nature helps us to form a perfect harmony between them despite they are at different places.